Tiff Benson here, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you eight fragrances that I wore this week. Thinking as I continue to start this series, this what I wore this week series on this channel, hopefully it'll be seven fragrances, but knowing me, it'll be more. Today it's eight. So if you wanna hear about the fragrances that I wore this week, eight of them, just keep watching. Leave a comment and let me know what fragrances you've been wearing this week. Your girl is so curious. I'd love to see what you guys are wearing and I'd love to read your comments as well. So drop me a line. This video is going to be sponsored by Scentbird. Now, if you don't know what Scentbird is, Scentbird is a subscription-based service where for $14.95 a month, you can get one of these perfectly sized travel atomizers with your fragrance of your choice inside. All you have to do is let them know which one you want or they'll pick it for you. Once you get it home, it'll come in something that looks like this and you just take it out, the fragrance, and then you can place it inside of the little traveling case. Now I love scent birds. As you can see, I have a ton of different fragrances that I like to wear from them. And I think they are magically convenient because I gotta be honest, your girl loves to travel. And when I'm traveling, I just like to, you know, ideally I would like to like bring my own fragrance with me, but I just can't cause I'm so rough with my fragrance. And also uh, TSA, you know, they have like their little, um, regulations and rules so these just work and I love it and then I can carry it with me wherever I go when I'm away enjoying myself living my best life on vacation so I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in trying out scent bird right now so go ahead and check that out if you're interested so now let's jump into the eight fragrances that I wore this week so I get asked all the time especially on Instagram please make sure you follow me on Instagram at Tiff Benson and also follow my baby account, The Fragrance Society on Instagram. I love you for that. I get asked all the time, what am I wearing? What is my scent of the day? And I just felt like this would probably be the easiest way to kind of address that. I'll also be posting blog posts on my website, tiffbenson.com about what I wore this week when it comes to fragrance, of course. Probably the rock stars of this week when it comes to fragrance for me are these two scents, Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford and Eau Soleil Blanc. I wore these fragrances for the TFF Awards, the Fragrance Foundation Awards. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I did a, a small campaign for these two scents. I love this scent. I've been loving it for so long. I remember when it first came out, I was just like, oh my God, I have to have it. I also have it in the shimmering body oil. Just want to throw that out there. I love to wear this even on its own. It smells exactly like this. It just lasts a little bit longer, I guess, because it's an oil. This fragrance is an oriental floral. I believe it has notes of coconut, tuberose, um, coconut, that milk it's very very creamy and this one has uh, similar notes although it has a bright citrusy top note wear this one for night maybe this one for day I mean they both work really well even layer them together totally different vibes so if you're thinking about getting these make sure you try them on the skin first these were two scents that I wore for the fragrance foundation plus this Next scent that I wore is Castle by Parfum de Marly. Whew, I love this scent. Um, I think this is a beautiful scent. This is a new addition to the House of Marley. Came out this year in 2019. If you love Meliora, if you love Delina from Parfum de Marly, I think that you would also love this one too. It's an oriental fragrance. I think oriental floral. It has notes of plum, rose. Smells a little peachy to me, but I believe the note in there is apricot. I love this one. It's very work professional, daytime friendly, and 
Oh, it's just gorgeous. You cannot go wrong with the House of Parfum de Marley. So up next, I have another fragrance from the House of Parfum de Marley, which I've been wearing and loving, and the cap is somewhere thrown in my bag, somewhere. It is Meliora. So Meliora's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. This one has notes of black currant, red berries, lily of the valley, vanilla, and musk. I adore this fragrance. Oh my God, probably this is either one or two for me from the House of Parfum de Marley, especially for women, sillage for days. And it's a compliment getting sent. Could be my signature, signature worthy. I mean, it is just that good and I love it. And I've been wearing this during the day and sometimes when I go out in the evening, if I wanna, you know, impress. Up next is a fragrance that I have also really been loving and I appreciate this scent so much. I think it is so beautiful. I totally just dropped it. It is, and you can see because I'm like, you can see how much is kind of left. Um, this one just came out too in 2019. It is called Kitsugi by Mas Milano. Love this scent. It The scent story here is that it is inspired by an ancient technique of repairing old uh, ceramic vases, I believe, um, and repairing it with gold if they are broken, you know, kind of just weaving gold in between the broken layers to repair the ceramic. Gorgeous scent story, but even more of a gorgeous fragrance. I think I will spray this as my scent of the day because it is just that beautiful. Tons of sillage. Forget about it. Compliment getting scent. If you love rose, if you love powdery, slightly powdery scents, full, rich, decadent, luxurious smelling rose scents, you'll like this one. There also is a sweetness to it. It has a base of patchouli and it does smell slightly aquatic too. It's it's a very, very full scent. You have to try it on. Give it a try. Once you do, let me know what you think. I'm curious to hear what you think about this one. Another fragrance from the House of Tom Ford. Ugh. And I was just thinking about this as I was preparing notes for this video. If I were to come back in the shape of a perfume bottle, I think it would have to be something like this because this fragrance is just so gorgeous with like the art deco design. I mean, oh, it's just really beautiful. But anyway, onto the fragrance. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous white floral. Love this scent. Compliment getting scent as well. I wear it in the evenings because it's a little dense. It's a little thick. It's a little decadent. But I mean, what else would you expect from the genius, the legend, the icon himself, Tom Ford? This fragrance is all about chestnut, patchouli, vanilla, and orchid. And I adore it. I think it's a beautiful scent to wear in the summertime, spring, and even just to transition into the fall. It is glorious, 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 glorious scent. And um, I'm happy to have it in my wardrobe. And I'm glad I wore it this week. Up next, we have a fragrance. Well, this is actually, you know, hmm, how can I describe this? This is a perfume. Well, it describes itself as a luxury hair perfume and body oil. The fragrance is called Evening Essence and it's by Lavish from Vicky Ziegler. I love the way this smells. It's very creamy. It almost kind of smells kind of cocoa-y, chocolatey, chestnutty as well. Beautiful, like sort of, let me show you what it looks like on. If you can see that, how it sprays. And then you kind of just wipe it into the skin, wipe it, rub it into the skin ever so gently, ever so gently. I like this. I like this when I'm running late and I need to either just spray my hair really quick or spray my body because I hate to be ashy. Nothing like being ashy when you're not supposed to be, right? Or are you ever supposed to be ashy? 
right? It is scented enough that you can wear it on its own. I think it's kind of like perfect for those people who don't like to wear um, a lot of fragrance during the summer. And for the days that I don't like to wear a lot of fragrance, I kind of reach for this. And last but certainly not least is Ellie Tahari's new fragrance, Ellie Tahari. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So this is a beautiful, 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 beautiful scent. Highly recommending this for summer, uh, spring, maybe even into the fall as well. This one has notes of bergamot, tea blossom, amber, woods, and musk. I love this scent. Oh my God. So I got invited to um, a party where they were releasing this scent. And as soon as I walked in to the event, I was like, oh my God, it smells so good in here. You know, sometimes you go to different places now and they're like releasing scent through the vents. And I was like, what is that smell? It was this. Gorgeous packaging, nicely done. Ooh, I just love it. It's really, really pretty. For girls who like pretty scents, pretty light, musky floral. Oh my God, it's so divine. I hope you enjoyed watching this video of my fragrance wardrobe for the week. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And thank you so much to the sponsors of this video, Scentbirds. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.